So your problem is you've deleted a user from Google Workspace, but the event or events that they've created remain active on other people's calendars. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff, and I offer usable and practical advice on how to solve your small business problems with Google Workspace. In this scenario, Harriet has recently resigned, and so I've deleted her account. But for some reason, when I did this, I chose not to transfer any of her data. And now I've got people like Mickey complaining that they can still see the events that she organized on their calendar. So there's two solutions here. The first one, and probably the easiest, is to ask everyone to just delete the event from their calendar. And in fact, if people external to your organization have been invited to this event, then that's what they'll need to do. This is also the only option if you use Google Workspace Business Starter. The second option is to use the Calendar API, which is basically a way for you to talk to the back end of Google Calendar. So to use this option, you need to have two browser tabs open, your admin console and the developer API tab. Don't worry, I've put the link for this one in the description, so all you have to do is copy and paste it. Now, in your admin console, go to Reporting, Audit Investigation, and Calendar Log Events. Click Add a Filter, select Actor, and type in the email address or the username of the person that you've just deleted. Tab and Apply. And then next to that, in the empty field, because I'm not sure how many events Harriet's created, I'm going to add another filter to show me that. Click on event, event, and scroll down to event created and apply. Then click on search. I can now see all the events that Harriet's created, including everyone that's been inv invited to these events. And this is gonna be pretty important pretty soon. So. What we're going to do is we're going to click on export all, give it a name and export. I'm going to scroll down here. It's got a little bit of action happening. Once you've got the result, click on the title. It'll open in a new tab in Google Sheets. And what we're going to do is systematically delete all these events. So I'm going to start at the top because it's easiest. Copy and paste calendar ID. Go to the API tab. Click on try it. And under calendar ID, paste the first calendar ID. Go back, select event ID. Back to the developer API tab and paste that under event ID. Click on Execute, and if this is your first time ever using the Google API, it'll ask you to connect. Make sure it's the correct account, continue, and allow, click on, and you can see here it's blank, but it's got a green 204. This code means that the action you asked to delete this particular event from that particular calendar has worked. And if you want to check that, you can go back to the admin tab and amend your previous search. So clear the filters, and this time you're going to look for event and event deleted. And then paste the event ID here and search. And you can see it's now coming up as having been deleted by yourself. Now you're just going to have to go back and copy and paste those calendar IDs and event IDs against each of the events that Harriet or your user has created in order to delete each one individually. Have fun and I hope this video helps anyone who might have orphan events in their organization's calendars. If you want more personalized help, 
with Google Workspace, then why not book a free 30-minute consultation with me? The link is in the description. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.